Hi, Church. I'm Jason, based in Central Manchester campus. I'm very grateful that I can share devotion today. My devotion is based on book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 1 to 9. This is amazing, encouraging um, Bible verse. After Moses died, a great leader Moses died, God installed Joshua as a leader to bring the Israelite to the promised land. This is just before the day cross of the Jordan River. God is having a personal chat with Joshua. Even the Joshua was an experienced leader because he spent quite a lot of time with Moses, but God is actually treating him as a new leader and reminding every single thing that what he promised to Moses and how he will fulfill. This is shows us that God is uh, reminding us that whatever I promise you will be fulfilled, but you need to trust in me and you need to obey to my word so that you remain in faith. So when you read that verse three, I give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life, as I was with Moses. So I will be with you. I will never leave you or nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. By knowing the promise of God that, you know, you and I, we are not alone. In, you know, like Joshua is facing all the battles he needs to go through but it could be so overwhelming. It's not just that he's, he needs to look after his life, but actually he is responsible for other people's life to bring them to the promised land to fulfill God's promise. So this can be a very, very overwhelming situation. It's not just that I am in the at work, but it's just a, you know, I have, I'm having a really difficult task at the moment. It's not that. It's actually bring whole the nation to the promised land. I mean, I cannot even imagine what kind of pressure Joshua would have had to feel in his heart. But God is good and God is kind. world can be treating us harshly with the unkindness, but... You know, God knows our heart and what we like. And he's actually taking time to encourage Joshua, I will be with you. But what you need to do, just God is reminding Joshua that be strong, verse 7. Be strong, very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law. And verse 8, keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night then you will be prosperous and successful. God is also giving us answer. The key to success is obedience to God's word. So God is giving us some message today that know the promise of God that I am with you and bring that to your face and continuously remain in the word of God and take courage so that you will be prosperous and successful. You know, we can be overwhelmed in many, many different challenging situations, but God is saying to us that in bringing to God, you will never be alone. God will be with you in that midst of the all the challenging situation, but God will fight for you and you will see the victory. Everything will be done by power of God, but 
we need to remember that it is impossible to please God without our faith. So knowing that God is faithful in our response to God, we need to be faithful to God as well. So it is good to, to remind ourselves the promise of God every day by meditating on the word of God and give thanks and honor and glory to our God. Our God who laid his life for our sins and he actually gave us eternal life. We have been granted that eternal life. We will go to heaven, the promised land, but we are here to help out other people who are still in the darkness. So, church, I pray that you are encouraged today by knowing the word of God, the promise of God and bring that promise of God to your face. And then we respond with our face because God is faithful so that we can see the victory of God in our lives so that we can work together to bring many more people to Jesus because he died for us to forgive our sins and to give us eternal life. Amazing God, we praise you, Jesus. Church, have a blessed day with an amazing encouragement today. You will see the glory of God working in you. Have a great day, church. Bye.